Hey everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at installing advanced sessions in Unreal 5.4 the right way. So, a lot of people have been messaging me saying after installing it, their game's not showing up that they're playing on Steam, and I'll show you how to fix it. So, first thing you're going to want to do is grab a copy of advanced sessions for your version of Unreal right here. Then once it's downloaded, go into the folder, and we'll grab these two right here, copy them. Or extract them if you're using uh, WinRAR or WinZip. And then you're going to want to go to your project folder. Mine's in documents. And mine, I'm going to be using the multiplayer survival game by Dapper Raptor. So when you're in your project folder, just create a folder called plugins, just like that. And we'll paste them in here. Or if you're using like WinZip or WinRAR, you're going to want to make a plugins folder with a capital P and just put them right in there. Then we're going to fire up the project. And that'll just take a second. And you're also going to want to make sure that you have Visual Studio 2022 installed for this. It should be already installed, but if it's not, I'll show you when to do it. All right. Once we're into the project, we're going to go to our plugins. Search for advanced and make sure these two have check marks by them. Very important. And then we're going to go into our content folder. If you're using the survival game kit, you're just going to want to search for session. Uh, it's pretty much going to follow the same thing on anything you're using. You're just going to want to find the nodes for find sessions and create sessions. So I'm going to go to host session. And in this widget, I'm going to go to the graph, and you'll see Create Session right here. I'm just going to right-click and type in Create Advanced Session right here. Then I'm going to unhook this, hold Control, and drag this here. Player Controller, drag it here. Public Connection, drag it here. Use LAN, drag it there. On Failure, right there. On Success, right there. And I'll delete this node out. Put that right back and compile and save. And I can close that one out. And then I'm going to open the sessions one here, the middle one. Same thing, go to a graph. And we're going to want to find the find sessions node. And I'm just going to click on find advanced sessions right here. Same thing, I'm going to hold control, drag this down, drag this down. On success, right here. Results, right there. And delete this guy out. Compile and save. Uh, you want to put it back up there, I suppose. Then I'm just going to give this a quick test to make sure that the session's creation is working. I haven't done this before. Disclaimer. So, if it doesn't work, I haven't tested it yet. In this template, anyway. So, I'm going to host a game. Then I'm going to join a game. If it shows up, I'll be joining a game. There it is. And we'll just make sure that it works in here. All right, no problems there. The next thing you're going to want to do is click on Tools, New C++ Class. You can just select none for this, and you can just keep that the way it is. Click create a class. That'll just take a second. This is the reason why it's not showing up in Steam is because it needs that C, C class, so. Just wait for this. That shouldn't take very long. All right, then we're going to click OK. Then we're going to click No. Then we're going to close out your project. Then you're going to go to your project folder. So mine is in here. And then when you're inside your project folder, you're going to have this new file here created. And you're going to want to grab this and this. 
So you're going to want to grab these three files, right click, and delete. Then you're going to want to right click your project file. And then you're going to want to click on generate visual studio. We're just going to wait for that to happen. So what I clicked on there was generate visual studio project files. Then we're going to want to open this one here. This is the new or the new one that's created. And we'll just wait for this to fire up. And then over on this side here, it's very important you don't have your project open and you, you let this load. So once this loads, you're gonna wanna right click over here where you see your project name, right click it, and then click build. And over here you wanna make sure there's no errors at all. You may have to do this twice. So we'll let this build. You're looking for a success over here and it'll say zero errors, success, and no skips. I'm just going to pause the video while this works or doesn't work and then we'll go through the errors if it has any. All right, we're back and mine compiled and you're looking for this message right here that says it succeeded and you're looking for the zero skipped zero fails. And you can close this out. Then we're going to fire our project back up. And I'm just going to open Steam because you're going to want to have Steam open to test this. All right, so now to test this, I'm going to go to right here and click on standalone game. Click play. I'm probably going to have to restart it because I didn't have Steam open all the way. All right, so I think I might have been missing one thing with this project, and it's very important. Some projects have it already in there, some do not. So you close your project out, then we're going to open our project folder again right here and then we're going to go to config then default engine and then we scroll to the bottom and we copy this in i'll put this in the youtube description so you guys have this as well to copy right in here then click file and save i hate the new notepad off the topic I always end up altering things that shouldn't because it opens tabs instead. This is in Windows 11. Get Linux, I guess. Alright, so then we reopen our project one more time. And then we're going to click play.
And just like that, we have the Steam overlay working. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully this helps you guys out. It can be quite a process and it's stubborn sometimes. So just follow along. Try not to miss any steps. If you have any issues, just reach out and I'll give you a hand with your project. Every project is different, of course. Some will have specific issues that others may not. So if you encounter anything, let me know and we'll work you through it. See you guys on the next one.